Hello, welcome back. Today I was going to talk about uh, how to use gears on the LEGO Technic platform. I have multiple sizes of gears here. Um, right here we have a it's a eight tooth gear. Um, I have two different styles in there, but they're both eight tooth gears. Um, then there's also the 12 tooth gear. Um, these are the single bevel 12 tooth gear. I'll get into these in a different video. And then we move up to the 16 tooth gear. We so this is a non-beveled gear. These are a double beveled gear, and this is a single beveled gear. I'll talk. I'll be talking about the double bevels and the straight tooth gears. These ones here, I are a twenty tooth gear, and then these are a. So this was sixteen. These are twenty. This is a 24 tooth gear, uh, both of those are. And then this is a 40 tooth gear. Um, I do not have a 36 gear, 36 tooth gear, and they don't make a 32 tooth gear yet. Um, the most popular are a 12, 16, and 20. So the first way I found out that was really easy to understand is using the radiuses of the gears. So a 16 tooth gear like this one, um, the radius on it is one. Um, and then an eight tooth gear, the radius is half. So if you go by that, a 32 tooth gear has a radius of two and then so it's a by factors of 16 um, have a radius of one half of 16 has radiuses of half um, so a 16 has a radius of one so I have these two 16 tooth two apart and they both have a radius of one, so they uh, mesh perfectly. The eight tooth gear here, they have radiuses of half. They're both just one apart, so they mesh perfectly. Um, here is a the 24 tooth gear. Um, the, the radius on these are one and a half. So, because it's 16 and then half of 16 is 8, so a 1 and a half is 1 and a half uh, radius. So I have them 3 apart, so that the, because the radius is 1 and a half, so 1 and a half plus 1 and a half is 3, so these will be a, a perfect mesh. Um, so, with, once you get into like 12 tooth or 20 tooth gears where it's not a factor of eight, it starts to get into like three quarters. So the radius on a 12 tooth gear is three quarter. A radius on a 20 tooth gear is one and one quarter. So if you take a one and one quarter gear plus a three quarter gear, you'll have a total distance apart of two because one and a half, or one and one quarter plus three quarter is two. So one, two, and they have a perfect mesh there. As long as you follow that pattern with 16 having a radius of one, and then every multiple of eight having halves, and then every multiple of four having a quarter radius difference 
will help you work with these gears. So then um, knowing that you want to make sure when you have one gear, when you want to go from one gear to another, you want to make sure that the radius of the two gears add up to an integer number. So like I showed here in these four examples, um, half plus a half is one. One plus one is two. So you want one, two, three. Um, this is where it gets just a little trickier. Three quarter plus one and one quarter is two. Um, that's how you can kind of work with uh, different sizes. So this is a 40 tooth gear. So the radius would be two and a half. Um, so knowing that you can have, for example here, this is also, this is an eight tooth gear, which is a half. And if this is um, two and a half, two and a half plus half, that would equal uh, four. Did I say that right? Or three. One and half plus two and a half is three. So if I take this one, two, three, throw that in there, put this gear onto there, lock the gears in, you would have a perfect mesh between the eight tooth gear and the 40 tooth gear. So knowing that, that helped me a lot when working with gears. Um, another example here, because this is a 24 tooth gear, the radius on it is one and a half. So knowing that I can take this one and a half. I don't have enough room here. Let's see. So I know, let's move this to the end. This is a half. This 40 tooth gear is two and a half. So it's one, two, three. Um, poke that through right there. That's a perfect match. Uh, match there. So then if I want to put a 24 tooth on there, um, the radius on this is two and a half and the radius on this is one and a half, so that would be a radius of four. So one, two, three, four, put that in there, and then you have a perfect mesh between there. So once you learn the radiuses, the radii of each of the gear, and that they have to all add up to uh, integer numbers, you can work with any gear in a straight plane like this. Um, in the next video, we'll look at how to use these single bevel gears with um, like a double bevel gear because they can, these single bevel gears uh, are mainly used to uh, change the angle on gears. So this would be a 90 degree angle turn We'll look at those in the next video. Thanks for watching.